Impound the barramundi fishing is fast becoming a popular pastime among recreational anglers. The increased pressure on these dam constrained fish means they are not as easy to fool as they may have been a few years ago. Adapting presentations to outsmart these increasingly cautious fish is often the key to success. Fishing soft plastic lures in deeper water situations is a technique that may produce big impoundment barra for you when other approaches fail to get those crucial bites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're talking about. Woohoo! Oh, he's going ballistic! Woohoo! Alright! That's what we came here for. Welcome to Lake Awonga. Central Queensland, just inside from Gladstone. Home to oh, Barramundi. Excellent. I'm here with a really good mate of mine, Peter Bayless. We've come here to do exactly this. Throw soft plastics at these sensational fish. We're sitting on a point in the main arm of the, the dam. Using the spin gear. Oh, these are great fish. These are powerful fish. They Oh, they make you work. Here he comes. Oh, 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 oh yeah. We've anchored the boat up because it's blowing a bit. And we're sitting on a point where we've sounded fish off the point. Oh, they're a powerful, powerful fish. <laughs> Mate, that was nearly dead sticking. I had that on the bottom. That was the third cast in the same position. I kept putting it into that position because we've sanded the fish there. Had a couple of hits here already too. Yeah, a couple of little tentative Just taps. Tentative, yeah. This was no tentative tap. This was, I'm eating you for dinner. Fish of that size, they've just got so much more power and, and, and a bit more stamina too. Nice That's fish. That's a nice fish. Nice bag. Still not done yet either. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh this is where we want to back that drag off just a little bit because those big head shakes can really rust through your leader. Let's see if we can lead him up. He's doing a lot of movement and the more he moves around the more chafing of the leader you're going to get. So all it's going to take is one serious head shake sometimes and they can just pop your leader straight off. So back that drag off just a little bit more. I want to get him up to the net and have a, have a good look at him. Oh. Just using the rod as the lever. Yeah, it's a nice fish too. Look at that water they move. They got a pretty good engine and a pretty good propeller. Let's get that net in the water. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, absolutely! What a cracker! Awesome fish, mate. Look at that, eh? Genuine metery, that one. Inhaled that Berkeley mullet. A meter four. What do you reckon, Pete? What a start, you know. We've been casting that point for, oh, I don't know, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And uh, the reason we're there is because we've sounded the fish on the sounder and we're using the soft plastics that we're using, the sinking plastic to get down to them and then just hop, hop, hop. Uh, that one, this guy just thought, mate, I'm eating you. You look too good. And if we have a good close look inside this mouth, you'll see that when you're a barramundi this big, you can pretty much eat whatever you like. So this is why we came here. Have a look at that, a metre four of barramundi. Eating the soft plastic, I mean, we haven't been here very long and we're hoping to catch a few more of these. We'll talk you through a bit of uh, how we did it at uh, Lake Awonga. Well worth the drive, hey Pete? Hell yeah. We will slip this fish straight back in. It's performed pretty well for us, so it's a, it's a bit tired. Oh, it is. Away she goes. You can travel around, there's a lot of great impoundments in Queensland with barramundi in them. Uh, we just happen to be at Lake Awonga today. Good mate of mine, Pete's over there, he's just chomping at the bit. He's, he's, <laughs> <I love laughs> one. We've been here 20 or so minutes with a couple of taps, but that one, I think I turned that one into a fish because I, I paused a lot longer. I, we were hop, 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 stop, hop, 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 stop. What that one was, was a hop, 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 and then I let it sit there, sit there, sit there, and I hadn't even moved it. He actually ate that off the bottom, just <coughs> ate it off the bottom. So a little bit of dead sticking. So we're gonna 
get back in and have another go at that. Thing, Definitely. I yeah. What a great fish. Now when I was when I was talking to you while that fish was going, it's pretty hard because you're excited. I was talking about when that fish had that uh, lure, that plastic, that Berkeley mullet down its throat. Those big head shakes and jumps, they uh, rasp your leader. If you have a good close look at that leader, it is very, very rasped. Now, it doesn't take long to cut that bit of section of your leader off and retie it, and it's definitely worth it. If I was to fish that again and I got another fish similar to that, that's just gonna pop. So it's worth a very quick snip. That one's gone. We cut that little piece off, which is gone in the pocket to go in the bin later. So we're gonna retie that. We use a lefty's loop knot. There's plenty of uh, good loop knots on the on the web. If you jump on the web and type in uh, fishing knots, there's some very easy instructive knots to uh, follow step by step. Once you've learnt them, that's how quick it is to tie a new knot. Now that one's ready to go, no scuffing, ready to go to go out and catch another one of those barras. Awesome. Flip him in the net. Oh, look at that. Awesome. Look at that, that's the perfect hook up perfect right in the corner of the jaw. Corner. You're fishing that, that uh, stinger I see. Yep. And that's just awesome, straight in the corner of the jaw. Look at that for a gob. These things can pretty much eat anything they like. Paddle-tailed soft plastic lures have proved very successful on Empowerment Barramundi for several years now. The sinking quality combined with the active paddle tail makes these lures a versatile choice for anglers targeting fish holding tight to bottom. Woo! How good was that, Pete? Well done, eh? I won't go too hard on you. Well done. Let's go and do it again. So the technique we've employed here today on Lake of Wonga is we're using the um, a spin rod. I've got a Berkeley Diablo laid up with a, a Diver Certate. I've got some Code Red. That's a 20 pound Code Red braid. I've got a 50 pound Strin fluorocarbon leader on that tied to that um, five inch pre-rigged Berkeley uh, power bait mullet. Like I said, we've, we've got the anchor up on the high side of this point because the wind's blowing in and, and generating a lot of movement and, and um, oxygenating the water. And we've sounded fish in there before. We've gone in there and we've actually sounded them on the sander and they're not right in the weeds. They're way off the point. They're actually in about 20 feet of water. So what the, the technique that we're doing is a big long cast with the wind rather than against it dropping the mullet right in close to the weeds and then a series of short hops. Hop, 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 then let it go down. Hop, 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 let it go down. And we know that it's hit the bottom because when you hop it up and you've got tension in your line, as soon as that mullet gets back to the bottom, there's a belly in your line. It drops that belly in and indicates to you that your mullet has finally hit the bottom. So it's a hop, hop, hop like that. It's a fairly rigorous sort of hop we're using because the, 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 the lure is a fair way away and we want, we want that to impart that action of a wounded fish up and then back down onto the ground, up. So it catches the eye of the barramundi that are cruising around or they're sitting there sulking on their bellies and they see this thing popping around and shaking. And the more you shake it and hop it, the more it's gonna catch the light and catch their attention. And what's been happening is uh, when it gets down on the bottom there, they've, they've coming over to it. We've had a couple of hits, it's just a little tick, tick. So it's getting, getting their interest uh, but as you saw by that first one, it is working. That uh, hop and hop, hop, pause. Hop, hop, pause. I've just got to concentrate. That's the, so far, the technique that's worked. Uh, all we need to do is refine it and turn those little ticks into a few more hookups. Oh, Pete. <laughs> I saw that fish on the sounder, Pete. And I just well, said. just said, we said, we're over the top of it. We're over. Move out a bit. Yep. And I don't think we'll need the net yet. We might be a little <laughs> while. <laughs> oh, nice. Very important to just have a nice smooth drag. Nice smooth rod action on these fish. You can see those lunges. Fish. Those lunges, they fight hard, these things. It's got some weight. It's pretty cranky, wasn't he, Pete? <laughs> hey? You know why he was cranky? Because he was thought he was about to have a meal of uh, bony brim and <laughs> he's just had a meal of power bait mullet with a hook in it. Not done yet. <laughs> giving you some more curry. He is giving me some curry Pete. And he, he succumbed to that 
pause, pause, pause. Oh, I didn't move it, didn't there. move it, and then I just gave it a little hop. That's and what we it. got. I got that other hit before. Here it comes. Oh, another one, another fish around that metre mark. They've just got so much go in them. He's done a lot more of his fighting down deep, this one. Yeah, yeah. We hooked him out a bit deeper. So. He was in a deep air, yeah, right? He was in deep water. Well, what we consider deep water, Pete. I mean, yeah. 18, 20 feet of water. We, we consider that deep water because a lot of the fishing I've done for Barron and Pete and I have done for Barrow, we're only fishing in six, eight feet of water because we're fishing up for those active fish up on the edges of the weed rather than the ones that are sitting out off the off the edge waiting to go in the weed to feed. Oh, okay. oh beautiful job, Pete. Beautiful. Magic fish, these Just grab these that fish. Berkeley mullet again. Didn't inhale that one all the way down. Bit hard with the old broken thumb, Pete, isn't it? <laughs> it is a little, but... He's giving you a bit of a... Oh, that's got a nice clamp on there. Got him with the stinger and the main hook. The stinger just mm. sitting in the bottom there. Helps if they're short striking, that sort of thing, but he really wanted that, so I don't think it made much difference today. There he is. That was what got the fish. Uh, awesome. We're going to slip him straight back in, I reckon. Pete, you want to do the honours? You reckon you can with the old broken hand there? <laughs> Give it a good crack. Just, just hang on to him there, Pete, in the, in the sunlight there. Beautiful fish. So much power. He's ready to go, isn't he? Yeah. Just give him a bit of a swim once you feel that kick and that bite down. He wants to go on. He's been ready to go from the start. Awesome fish. The wind had actually died down a bit, so we, we pulled the anchor in and uh, jumped on the electric and started moving around the point, looking for a few other fish that we couldn't reach while we were anchored. And, and that fish was in an area we yeah. couldn't quite reach with anchor, so he must have been just sitting there. And finally got the Berkeley mullet in front of him and he game on. <laughs> yeah, awesome. your turn, Pete. You got to do it. Into it now. It's Pete's first time to uh, to Lake Awonga, and uh, he, he's not used to this style of fishing, this uh, big open area of fishing, and it can be a bit daunting if you've never done it before. Now Pete's caught plenty of barra. He's, he's an accomplished barra angler, but uh, not in this particular lake. And and Pete knows that when you're when you're fishing in your, any situation, you should fish. Uh, every retrieve like there's a fish following your lure. All the great tournament anglers concentrate on every single retrieve they're doing. They know where their lure is, they know what they're doing. Um, a bit like, you know, we Pete fishes a fair bit in Mondrian, hey Pete? Yeah. yeah. And, and you've really yeah, got to concentrate all the time on every single cast. And you've got to make the most out of each cast. Uh, it's really hard, especially when you're fishing trees, Pete, isn't it? When you, you throw a good cast in there and you, and you fish, 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 and you look and you go, oh, there's a great spot. And you whip that cast in to get in the next cast. What you've got to tell yourself is that there's a reason why you put that cast there in the first place. It's because it was a good spot. And you've got to fish that lure right back to the boat like you mean it. Like the reason why you did it is because you, your brain said, you know, that's the retrieve I need to do. Make sure you do it. And it's no different to what we're doing now. Big long cast. So every single cast we do here is with purpose. We're, we're pulling, pulling that lure down off that edge into that deeper water where those fish are. So we've got to concentrate on every single cast. As much as it's so hard because uh, you do that cast and you think, oh yeah, but I haven't cast up there for a while and I haven't cast over there for a while and you can force yourself to go a little bit too quick. So concentrate on each cast as if there's a fish following it. Oh yeah, on the bait caster. Oh, this is a good fish too. <laughs> I don't think he knows he's hooked yet. He hasn't gone anywhere and done anything. Holy dooly. Oh, here he goes. Oh, he's about to take off. This fish doesn't, it's not doing anything. Oh. oh. <laughs> that was a big fish. A very big fish. I didn't even know it was hooked. I had a fair bit of go on that and he's just done a big head shake. I pulled the hooks out, I tell you. Oh. That was a cracker, Pete. 
absolute cracker. There was a big one, didn't even know it was hooked hardly at the start there. No. You just put the stinger hook on it, so probably a good thing you did, but not enough still. Not enough. So you never had it down. You see there's no scuff mark on it, so you didn't never had it down. It was probably just sitting under, just pinned him sort of under the throat or something like that. And, and that big violent head shake that they've got is just enough to throw that, uh, pull that off. Big fish. Ooh, let's keep going, Pete. Indeed. Keep going. <laughs> That's going. <laughs> what do you reckon of that, Pete? That's going quick. That. Listen to the sound of that. That's a good sound. Woo! That's what we come here for. Yes. Oh, that's violent. Holy <laughs> dooly. <laughs> are we fishing offshore? Tuna fishing, we are. We're still on this point. Just hopping these mullet. He hasn't jumped yet, but. No. Oh, hooked him down deep. So. He's not far from the surface. He's slugging away over there. All right, this is where she's going to get interesting feet. She's coming around the boat. The broken hand. <laughs> this will be very interesting to see how quick you can react with a broken hand. <laughs> Oh, well, I wasn't going to say no to some bar fishing, so... No, that's dedicated. A dedicated angler there. Haven't seen it yet, but... i got a sneaking suspicion it's not a flathead. <laughs> I reckon you might be right on that one, Jace. It's a good call, isn't it? It's... Ooh, Ooh, that's scary, isn't it? Felt something clink there, but... Usually the, the tail sometimes hits the leader Wraps when, they, around, when yeah. they get that head down. He's sort of dictating terms, isn't he? He is. And you've got a broken hand. <laughs> Not much you can do. I'll wait up here and we'll just give us a yell when you're ready, you know? Broken hand, going barra fishing. Yeah, you deserve everything you can get. Oh, and he's getting, <laughs> he's certainly getting it. I'm sure the doctor said something about taking it easy and not stressing your stress fracture. Oh, that's a slab. That is another slab. Send him your way. Yeah, he's coming. Oh yes, Pete, what a cracking fish. <laughs> that is just... <laughs> that, That's awesome. Friend, don't let me hang it. That's awesome. Let's see if we can get it in. Oh. Oh. Wow, what a great fish, Pete. Have a look at that corner jaw hookup too. Look at that, That's mate. Awesome. Beautiful hookup. Oh, the bigger, longer barra. They don't have any small ones here, do they? <laughs> <laughs> That's been the lure of choice. He's a long fish too. A genuine metery, that one, mate. Awesome. Hey, meter 11. A meter 11. That is so wide and fat too. So much weight. Lake of Wonga. That's awesome. I reckon we've got time for one more fish. I'd love and then, more. And then we've got to go. We'll just slip him straight in, mate. He's ready to go. Look at that. That's what they designed that bit for. <laughs> That's why that part of the uh, back of the stratus is absolutely perfect for. The only problem with that is, is they also do that when you don't want them to do it. <laughs> yes, what a great sign. We've worked out a technique and it's, and it's working for us. Off, yeah. All we've got to do is maybe catch one last one, say goodbye, and be back next week. Woo! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think this fish doesn't even know it's hooked either, Pete. We've been fishing the sounder. We've come out a little deeper than we were before because uh, we weren't getting any action in there. So uh, I've gone way out, out into 28 feet. Look at that sounder, Pete. 28 feet of water this fish is in. We saw a few good archers down there, didn't we? Just oh, yeah. Stacks on the We're in 30 feet of water. That's where this fish is basically taking this in. It doesn't know what's going on, does it? It really doesn't. This is not really fighting like a barramundi. It's more like a snapper coming up off the bottom, isn't it? <laughs> it's certainly staying deep. It is staying it's deep. It's like a big trevally trying to just stay down there and ride the current. Oh, look at the sounder. This is where all these barra are, mate. Oh, Go around the front. the front. Oh. Oh. This. Oh. Say he's a very big fish. It's 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 done no big scream and run yet. I feel a lot of weight. A lot of weight down there. That's it's, what we want. It's taken a fair bit of work to work this guy out. Um, the fish have moved out further off the off the points. I can see them now. Now we know where they are. And uh, 
just hopping that Berkeley mullet up. I've got nothing on this fish. It is like a trevally in it, Pete, you know, when we <laughs> get those big deep. GTs. Oh. Just sitting on his side and he's just on his side dragging yeah. you around the dam. I'm 30 kilos, you lift me to the top. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. Oh, I tell you what, oh that's that. Get a little bit of line off him, back on him when he gets that big head shake now. He's coming to the, the top. A good hard strike or Oh a definite clunk. Uh, just a big definite clunk. Yeah, 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 he's doing all sorts of weird stuff, this fish. Oh. That's where that smooth drag comes into play, that last kick of that tail and their big head shake. They're such powerful fish. Oh, that puts a... <laughs> just the old heart going when they, they've got their head down and they just kick and shake their head at the same time. And if you haven't got a good hook set, that's when they come out. This is gonna be a cracker. That's what we come here for, isn't it, Pete? Definitely, mate. And the technique we use there, that I got this fish on, was very similar to what we were doing before, just hopping the, the Berkeley mullets up off the bottom on that tapered edge. But this time, this drift changed a bit and we moved a little bit further out and because we, we couldn't see too much where we'd sounded the fish before in that shallower 20 foot of water, they were gone. So, can't catch them if they're gone. I might get you to swing us around, Pete. Just, yeah, sure, Jess. Oh, this is a heavy fish. A very heavy fish. I've only got a, I'm fishing a um, six to 10 kilo rod, and she's got a bit of a uh, 30 pound Berkeley code red on it. So I've got, I do have a, a fair bit of power to uh, exert on the fish, but I'm not going, I'm not gonna go too hard on it. Just come off the point here, it, it um, deepens right down. And as we said, found them sitting there on the sounder. They're not, there's not a lot of them, but there's definitely enough there to uh, keep us interested. This is the part, this is that part where you, your heart's in your mouth, you, you've done all the hard work to get him, and he's doing, it, he's doing his darndest to get off. There's big head shakes and shakes, and he's shaking and I'm shaking. That? And I'm looking at, barra. I'm looking at a, oh, oh look at that. That is a <laughs> of a fish. That. Oh man, that is a cracking barra Monday. I'm gonna be flat it's out getting him in that net, I reckon. Spin him back around. Oh. Swim him in. Yes! Oh. <laughs> oh, man! Oh, that is the fall. <laughs> Give it there we go, get his head around. Holy dooly. Oh, that. That's an Awonga Barra. That's what we came here for. His girth certainly, it's fat. certainly <laughs> gave him gave him away as a big fish, but he's uh, pulling down to about a metre and 14, nearly a metre 15, so it's still a cracking fish. <laughs> what do you reckon, Pete? That's awesome. Oh, look at that. Look at that for a swallowed mullet. That's what it's all about. A Wonga Barra. Woohoo! Yeah! That's great. I'm gonna put this big fella back in. Head home with some pretty good stories. Look at that. That's a beautiful fish. That is a beautiful big barra. Okay. What we're gonna do? Spear him away. Man, a longer barrel fishing. You gotta do it. What do you reckon, Pete? Certainly show me a thing or two. Lure fishing for impoundment barramundi is an ever evolving art. As fish learn some of our method, anglers will need to call on a range of techniques to continue experiencing success. Fishing soft plastics in deeper water is definitely one approach to learn and keep stashed away in your arsenal of techniques.